matchup for him because of how far back and drop he is. We know we can get specific shots uh, when we put him in certain actions. And, you know, either, either going to be for the handler coming off or him popping the wide open shots. And so uh, his activity was great as far as that. They switched some and he took advantage inside. But, um, you know, been consistent all year and really good in the playoffs. And so we need a big night from him. He's a, he's a guy who almost tries to make the right play. Yeah, it helped everybody. Uh, obviously, with JB with the foul trouble, um, you know, Jason got him going a little bit there late. But Al, it's like it's like I said, we know we can get him a certain shot every time, and so uh, we've told him to be extremely aggressive. You know, five for seven tonight. He's got nine threes up throughout this series, and so he can get those looks whenever. And so it's good to have that outlet out there. And then, you know, starting to close out on him and play him differently like they play Grant, and he's getting downhill a little bit and getting other guys' shots. And so we like to hide him in certain areas on the court, uh, spread out uh, Lopez some, and he's going to come pretty much help on all penetration, and Al's getting those wide-open looks in the corner. Hey, man, that, uh, well, more of the stuff that I got tied up. Guys. Yeah, I think it did. I, I didn't see the follow through, whatever he did, but uh sounded like he cracked them pretty good. And it, like you said, energized the group. Um, you know, in general, like I said, he's been he's been great all year, but really need him to step up big with guys being out. Uh, Jay being foul trouble, Rob missing this game. So he took that on his shoulders. Uh, like I said, he, he's they're guarding him a certain way. He's able to attack and love the aggressiveness and extra from him. Uh, yeah, but I think in general, we, we I mean, it's 43 to 28 fourth quarter, so we were getting stops and getting out and running, uh, trying to take advantage and play fast. And so uh, you could tell the group in general, uh, especially with JB out, was really playing good uh, with, with Derek and some of those guys. And more so than just Al, I think the whole group in general, we, we looked at the score down seven going into the fourth and said we haven't played that well at all, honestly. And let's have a big fourth quarter, and we did that. Getting some stops late and getting it back to seven. Uh, you know, being down one and a half, we had we didn't really play that well. And to your point, it got away a little bit. I think they got the eleven point lead in that quarter, but to get it to a manageable number, uh, seven going into the fourth, we felt pretty good about it. Um, being that we didn't play that well again throughout three quarters, we said just have one solid quarter and. You know, we're down seven. We got a whole game here to play, and let's really start to attack and get multiple penetrations. And I think we did that more so in the fourth quarter than throughout the first three. Yeah, he finally got in a good rhythm. Um, you know, I think possibly with JB being out and the ball in his hands a lot more, uh, he finally found a good rhythm. Uh, we found some actions that we liked for him. Um, and then some isolations where we don't always bring the screen and we feel he can beat his man. And so I uh, gave him a little bit more space to operate. He got downhill, got aggressive, and then started knocking down the threes. And so what he's been doing all year, took him a little time, a little bit to get going in this game, but um, finished off well in the fourth, obviously, especially with JB being out. It's another game where they looked pretty fast in the fourth quarter. You guys made a big comeback. I mean, how much of your, just, I guess, offensive game plan you just throughout the night is trying to, Wear them down a little bit, make them help them recover. So yeah, I think it, it goes both ways. With, uh, we obviously did in the first series against Brooklyn. We wanted to put Durant, Irving, and certain guys in actions, their main, main scores. And they've done that somewhat to us as well. Uh, put JT in the certain actions, uh, JB, but we like to do the same thing and not just let Giannis and those guys roam the weak side. We want to put them in actions, make them guard, and uh, cumulative effect for sure. Uh, they're doing a lot. You know, getting 32 shots up and playing 41 minutes takes a toll on you alone, but we want to put them in actions to make them work and not let them rest on the defensive end. Yeah, going back into uh, finding the right time to insert, reinsert Jalen Brown, uh, Jalen, was there a specific minute mark in that fourth quarter that you were trying to get to or just cleaning off the floor? You know? A little bit of flow. We kept monitoring the score. We obviously got back in it, got the lead, uh, and, you know, kept it close so we could buy him a few more minutes. Um, he was begging to come in basically 10, 8, 7 every other minute. And we, you know, obviously with a three-point lead, we can buy some more time, and that unit was playing well. So I uh, didn't want to put him back in too early with five. I had a good rhythm going with the guys, but knew we'd bring him back to finish. And so the fact that we played so well without him obviously bought him those extra minutes. You talk about the way they're guarding out. Is that something you noticed from the end of the game? Or just from, you know, from the 
No, it's all series. I mean, they're guarding them a specific, specific way. Um, anytime you have Lopez that far back in the drop, we can literally run a pick and pop anytime we want and get a wide open three at least. And so understanding that he gets in the rhythm, we try to get him downhill a little bit, give him some different looks. And then when you see him going a little bit, we obviously have multiple sets that we can get JT or JB downhill against Lopez and always have that outlet to throw back to. Yeah, he's been a calming influence throughout the whole year. Uh, you know, a veteran who's been there, done that on a lot of uh, playoff teams that have got really far, made really big runs. And so, you know, he is a veteran of our group and uh, has done that all year. So uh, we know he's been great throughout training camp early in the season. He's carried that into the playoffs and almost took another step in the playoffs. So, you know, guys out, Rob, you know, guys in foul trouble. He was called upon to score a little bit more tonight, but um, he's always the most vocal guy. Every time I come to the timeout, he's kind of giving instruction and settling everybody down. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.